So it hasn't exactly been a surprise, but Google recently pulled back the curtain on the Google Pixel Fold, its very first foldable smartphone. Foldables themselves are not a new product category. So we've seen a lot of movement in this front for the last three or four years. Now I gotta say, Google has the design locked down pretty well in some respect because it is the most phone-like of the foldable devices I've used so far. One of the issues you'll see with devices like the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, the screen itself on the outside is quite narrow. So you do, at least in my case, kind of struggle a bit with typing and just general use phone tasks, which is not at all the case with the Google Pixel Fold. It's incredibly slim and that outer display is large enough that in most cases it feels just like a regular phone. Maybe the biggest thing this phone has going for it, aside from the fact that it folds in half, are the cameras. Google's Pixels contain some of the best smartphone cameras out there, and I personally use them a lot. I went to Japan and bought a camera for fun and still wind up using a Pixel most of the time anyway. But if you're gonna ask me if this is different from the other expensive foldable phones, because mind you, this is a device that's gonna cost you $1,800. Well, is that worth investing in now that Google's getting involved? I don't know that it's gonna change anyone's mind just yet. Like, yes, the camera is quite good, maybe not as good as other pixels, but certainly better than what I've experienced from some foldables in the past, but that's only gonna get you so far. And if you're looking for reasons in software, in productivity, in new things that you can do with a pixel fold that you couldn't do with other extremely expensive smartphones, there's not a whole lot of movement there. Like I said, I didn't get to spend a ton of time with this thing, but I walked away from that experience feeling cautiously optimistic. This is a version of a device that we've seen more than a few of at this point, and I like the elegance and I like the design and I like a lot of what Google has brought to it. But again, if you're looking for something that's going to give you a killer reason to buy this phone compared to the other ones, I don't know that we're there yet.